everybody, I am super excited today to jump into this ginormous haul that I got at the Dollar Tree. And if you'd like to stick around to the end, I also swung by Teacher's Tools, if you have that one in your area. And just a few things I picked up at Teacher's Tools. So a little backstory, I have a little one that is starting kindergarten and we already have been going through pre-K lessons. And I have a second grader who is a little more on the third grade side, but she's rolling into second grade. So this on top of what we already have was the haul that I picked up um, to kind of combine what we already have, organize it, and refresh our stock of supplies. So whew, I am so excited. I walked in with all the bags and my husband's like, what did you do? I was like, Homeschool haul. I'm going to share this with everybody because I was so excited in the store. So I think the first thing we're going to start with is organizing. So I love, I have all their subjects and I found these really adorable bins and I got five of each. So for $1.25, so they moved up to $1.25, but still group of six on Amazon was $40, was the cheapest I could find. So these bins, they're pink and avocado. I got a basic teal, and I got this really pretty uh, rainbow, kind of purpley, and I got 15 of those. And to put on the front to say math, reading, spelling, grammar, geography, crafts, art. I got these little labels just so I can write it on the front because I we have this big cabinet and I just stack these right next to it. So right now I have the workbooks stacked side by side and I just wanted to figure out how I can just separate them by grade and by subject and that hits the nail. So those are super excited about those. Uh, I have these You've seen these caddies before, but these, let's show like the size of a glue stick. Here's the size of a glue stick, and then look how tiny the caddy is. So it is a mini caddy, and just for, if you want to switch it up, if you're going to be doing a work on the blackboard, and you want to make sure she has her dry erase markers and um, her eraser, just put this in for the day, and I like this is a smaller version of the big one we have for more particular subjects and I'm very excited about that and you'll see I have like doubles and triples of everything because I got two littles um, on with organizing these are five piece drawer organizers and y'all know my gosh these are like ten dollars a piece at Walmart and I geeked out about finding them for a dollar, dollar twenty-five each. And something that we have already in ours is like the mouse for our tablet. We have googly eyes and pom poms and just like the small stuff, um, counters for number lines and stuff, marbles and bugs and just you know that we need different spaces for different things and. This just tidies up the whole thing. So if you're like me, right now, I have something similar to this, but it is recycled um, lunch turkey meat um, plastics that you get with your lunch meat. And you just throw away the plastic, you rinse it out, and you reuse the container. So now I'm gonna replace those with that. I think I'm very excited. And we're moving on, and we have these little storage containers. And I'm really excited about these because they snap shut. So if you go to like your local library, they always have like little group projects of things. So like say you want to do a lesson on dinosaurs and you want to put in different little facts about it. Or if I want to work on clockwork today and I want to make sure my clock's in here and my little lesson and all the little pieces that go in here, like counting bears and stuff for that subject, and you close it up and you can set it up for them for that day and I thought that was really nice. And I got three of those. 
and they have this really nice teal pink and purpley gray it's kind of like the line this this um uh, season is like a lot of bright pastels and i'm okay with that i can never settle on one color and i usually get lots of colors y'all know you love these they're in groups of three for a dollar and they are those little drawer organizers where they are big enough to hold the pencils, pens, sharpies, and whatnot that you have. So I, I just can't wait. I'm probably going to have to do a second video of what my drawers look like after this because they're going to be really pretty. These are storage containers again. They are, let's see, let's compare it to like a post-it note. Little post-it notes and look how small they are. And I like these because again, they snap open. Isn't that neat? And we have things like marbles and lots of math. I like to use things to help them with math that are touchable, but small like beans that you can put in your container for when you're ready for that subject and you can pop them out. I swear you could probably take this on a field trip too to the science museum and put snacks in here. I thought that was really neat. I only got, I think I only got two of those. Yeah, I got two just to try them out. And the labels y'all already saw, they go to the file organizers. And all right, let's move on to arts supplies so like I said we already have markers um, pencils crayons so I didn't get a lot of that but things to go with what our supplier already has these really adorable artist palettes isn't that neat my daughter just screamed bloody murder when she saw these and I said yep just like Bob Ross little artist palettes for the paints and for the mixing and can stop throwing away paper plates because every time they pulled the paints out it was a paper plate a paper plate so now she's like oh they're reusable I can use them all over again so she's excited about those I love getting tape tape is something I always get year-round so when I see it I buy it and it's usually around fall or Christmas because that's how I wrap all my presents because they bump up the price of tape. If you watch, if you buy tape year round, you know that it gets a little more expensive around the holidays. So when you see dollar tape, just get it because you're constantly using it. I got the dollar brand. You get all eight of them for a buck, a dollar twenty-five. And I know I'm usually an Elmer's person, but I noticed over the past couple of years that Elmer's glue sticks dry up just as fast as these guys because I have them side by side and they dry up at the exact same rate to me and we use a lot of glue sticks for cut and paste crafts so we got the off-brand kind and the regular kind and I find that even Elmer's glue it gets clogged at the top so if any of y'all have an idea of how to get it unclogged even when I try to do a, a paper clip in there it Halfway through the bottle, we're usually just opening the bottle and using Q-tips to get the rest of it out. So I got those. Good old twine. And googly eyes. And these I showed earlier. Big variety of post-it notes. So these are the off-brand mom or a family tree one. They say jot jot or jolt uh, there was 250 in here and the post-it brand there was only 165 so I went with the bigger pack and these are really neat they are kids giant jumbo tweezers so not just for science I found that when they are learning about counting or multiplying or something just the the touching of the things and moving them with tweezers compared to like grabbing it they just engage so much better so i thought those were really neat um, some sight words for my older daughter 
she knew right away that that was anthropology. I was super excited about that. But it's a group of 30 piece sight words, and like I said, we have a few already for the vocabulary practice, but got another group of that. Oh, we got, ooh. let's move on to, okay, reading and workbook material. So, the books I got, y'all, I was for a dollar twenty-five. You know, I go to Sam's Club. I go to um, if y'all have a half-price books around y'all. If y'all go to Barnes and Noble, if you register as a teacher, you can get twenty percent off. But when you find a good dollar book, you just gotta pick it up. So let's go through. We have Mark Brown, Easy Readers. We have Arthur Breaks the Bank. Arthur's Promise. I'm telling you, this is a thick book. And the pages are just like the illustrated books you get at the library. And they also have lots and lots of words on them. Three little ones. I'm oh, so excited about these. We all grew up on Arthur. Buried Treasure. Arthur's Buried Treasure. Arthur, Clean Your Room. Arthur, what a mess. And then moving on, we have Super Y, if your little ones like watching that. Super Y, George and the Dragon. Let me see these. Look at, look at how good. So much vocabulary to practice on. And these are thick. They're not just like five pages. Usually you come across those. But these are long, long books. Hansel and Gretel, Super Y. We have a few science books. Learning to Read, Land Forms, and Weather. We have Natural Wonders. And a few fairy tale books. These got me so excited. I don't know why, but books for a dollar just really make me excited. This one's called the Frog Prep, and they even started putting uh, the illustration or the titles in holographs, adding like this little pretty print at the top. Kindness Kitten, Unicorn Wishes, Night Night Narwhal, Share Bear, and a little more like that. Daniel Tiger Gets Scared. Now this is a level book, ready to read. So this one would be a more simpler read. Where there's less words on the page. So your starting off reader can follow along with lots of big spaces in it. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations. And super thick for a dollar. Look at that. I am telling you, when I saw these, I am used to the hardback, like Sesame Street, and they're like that hard, um, hard material, hardback book, and over time, they kind of just fall apart. But when I came across these different varieties, I loved it. Toy Story in comic book form. If you have a lover of comic books and you can collect them all, there's multiple ones up there. My daughter has all the dog man books. She is a big fan of the comic layout. Lucky needs help. And she screams at this one. Sophia the Golden Unicorn. Again with the holographic titles, super thick book. Lots of words, lots of beautiful illustrations, and again, this was not in the five dollar section, these were a dollar, a dollar twenty five. And I got these manuscript paper tablets. Let's see how many are in it. How many pages? 40 sheets per. So if you really need a girl, really need, um. Is it picking up the lines? These are the ones with the beautiful lines and the dots in the middle to practice that really straight handwriting. 
And the paper is a little thinner too. And I got three of those. And to go along with writing practice, they love composition books. So usually their composition books look like this. But they had a designed composition book. And I thought that was really neat. With the wide rule. And I thought that was really pretty. And we have some construction paper. Now I know I probably could have gotten a better deal at maybe Target and Walmart in their construction paper section, but I got 36, 36, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24, 36. So 136 pieces for five bucks. Or four, four dollars. No, five bucks because it's a dollar twenty-five each. For four, four big ones for five bucks. I feel like I would have spent about the same amount at the store. But construction colored paper, we go through a ton. That would probably last us till Christmas. And a kitten kisses, best friends, and diva dog puppies. Just a little activity books uh, when they're done with their lessons. Not really, not really um, learning material, but you always have to have that stuff on the side when they're tired of doing lessons. Now these are really neat. I love, because I have a kindergartner, so I use pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade books. And that is what the Dollar Tree has right now. And when I go to Teacher's Tools, these are about four to five dollars a piece. But at Dollar Tree, they're only a dollar twenty-five. And let's see how many. I think I got about fifteen or so. And they are different lesson books. My favorite brand are Morning Starters because they have the most for your money in there. Uh, this one's Letters and Writing. Let me show what the pages look like on the inside. That's Kindergarten. We have Reading. So they get this little paragraph and it's Q and A. That's first grade. We have colors and shapes. Printing practice. Each one of these has about twenty front and back pages. It's really wonderful. Like these are my favorite. They're called the morning starters. And we do one to two every day. This one is, I'll show you the difference between each one. So let's do a pre-K morning starter, first grade morning starter, and a second grade morning starter so you can see the difference in what they put in it. So this is a pre-K morning starter. About they go over the weather, the letter of the day, letter in a sentence, practicing that alphabet letter, and then little number activities. That's for pre-K. Then for first grade morning starter, they, they just add a little more. You move on to adding addition, fractions, money, the word of the day. Oh, I love them so much. And these are front and back. So each one is different things, different subjects. Pie charts, graphs. It's really wonderful. And this is second grade. It goes into even more depth. Word problems, money, fractions. You start up multiplication by the end of the book. And you can see how much clockwork and how much more dense it gets the higher up you go in these. But still only a dollar. I love them. I love them so much. We have spelling. Now what we are in Texas. So Texas only requires spelling, reading, writing, grammar, good citizenship, and math, and writing, I think. And we do about 13 or 15 subjects. So we incorporate geography and science and history and 
um, athletics and music and art, and you go a little farther than that. But these are such a good filler in your lesson. So we have a morning starter, second grade. Oh, did we already go? We already went over that. Excuse me. Sorry. We have reading readiness. And these are super simple for your pre-K kindergartner. Lots of rhyming practice, number of words, above, below, front, behind, just the things that you don't really think of day to day to teach your child. Left and right, under, these are things they kind of pick up on their own, just being around their family members, but it's really important just to have maybe one or two lessons about just the simpler things. There's another, oh, some of them I duplicated. So when I find a morning starter, because sometimes I can't find them at the Dollar Tree, I grab multiples because my other daughter is behind um, two grades. So I will keep it, store it, and then when she's ready for it, I give it to her too. First words. Practicing words. We have Dr. Seuss coloring activity book. Some birds. This is more of like a road trip type book when you're going to the history museum or the art museum or science book. You want to bring in like a filler. Boop, boop. 